Willkommen in Hamburg. I am Armin Morbach. I am a photographer, an artist, a hairdresser and an editor-in-chief. Welcome to my world. This is Tush Magazine and all the big secrets are happening here. Tush Magazine has started because I was fed up with some stupid editors telling me what to do. That someone who never had a brush in their hand and never had a to put a lipstick on, told me what's trend and what's not trend. I said, I do my own. I called all my friends, all photographers, I called all the big models. Claudia Schiffer was on the cover, Luca, Jule Stegner, because I worked with them. And this is how it started. It's different because we concentrate on accessories, on beauty, on, let's say, more art photography. She's gonna wear this top, she's gonna have, and she's gonna be nude on here, but she's gonna have a string, and we're gonna, I'm gonna tape her to the floor on a glass palate. Yeah, I, guess, yeah. I always wanted to build a chair out of a woman's body, but I'm not really good doing it myself, so it may be better doing it in the picture. Because I wanna try to get the position as low that it looks like she's the chair, but she has no head. I was a hairdresser, and one day a photographer didn't show up. Everything was there, I took the camera, it's just started. 20 years next to the camera, there's just a little step behind the camera. I want to do something what creates my own way of seeing it. Because when you do hair for hours, and then you just, and the photographer clicks in the wrong moment, it pisses me off. I like to play with contrast. You don't know if it's a man, it's a woman, where does this leg come from, why they use the garbage dress. It's hard to describe your own look, you know, because it's not pretty, it's not glamorous. It has a certain style, I would say. All you see in my pictures is a part of me, maybe hidden, maybe very obvious. Maybe if I do glamorous hair, it's very obvious, I love that. Something fetish, and it's, it's something what, what I think looks really cool. But it's something always that has to do with my personality. If you have it, have it. But it's just there. It's just really there. It's just like something. I see it. I like the light. I, I know that I have to do a little bit of retouch. I take this chair away. And, and if I have it, it's, it's, it's there. There's not a big secret about it. Oh, I did about 18. So it's enough. It's a lot for me. Fast. If I take a lot of pictures, I take 20. But I think if you don't have it by the first five, you will never get it. But I work with photographers out there, they do about 400. And trust me, it always was the first. I love to shoot in computer because I, I want to see exactly what it is. I want to see if my vision is right on the computer. I want those things to glue down so it looks three-dimensional. And I gave the idea in the makeup department and it came out like this today. You don't know if it's someone real or if it's some, something fake and I like that. This is when art starts. Art starts then when some people like it, some people don't. And this is when it starts to be interesting. And if you, if you look through a magazine and you stop by this picture, it already worked. This catches you. And if not mentally, <laughs> then maybe because you think it's sick. I started taking pictures not even five years ago. And two years ago, someone called one of the big collectors in Germany and said, I want to buy you art. So this opened a door for me. I never thought that I would be an artist. But this day changed my whole life because I could do whatever I want to do. And it's art. It's good. <laughs> Flow and flashing for a short time, so I get this effect on the picture. I was not happy when she walked in in the set, but now I'm happy because it looks like a voodoo doll. I used the 35 millimeters because this special picture needs something even more weird. And it's weird already, but 
to make it more weird, her face gets really big. I love to work with the 50 and the 35. And my favorite one is this one, the 120, because everyone looks pretty, I think. Um, the 80 I'm not a big fan from because everything gets very boring. But I like the 50 because legs get long and faces get strange. And my new 35 I really like because it also has something of a 60s lens because they used a lot in this time. Very friendly, okay, but people know exactly there. when to stop. Okay, I can make jokes, can be funny, here. but when it comes to the picture, it's my word. <laughs> For me, the little camera strike me nuts because you go into this is not my way of working. I'm very concentrated when I work. I look for the frame, I have the picture in my mind, and I just click. <laughs> the inspiration was Loni showed me a makeup artist book from the 70s. Everyone who works for galleries, all the people say, we have to work in a bigger format, otherwise it gets grainy. And it's not my style. Even if it's 250 high, I want to see every detail. I think everybody, when they see this picture, is going to laugh. And that's, that's exactly the point what I like about the picture. It's croissants, it's cookies, it's a cup of tea on a tablecloth. In 10 years, I want to maybe open an organic bakery. Maybe something else. Maybe it's going to be a paint. I cannot really paint, but... Do you always stay fresh? I'm not going to be a photographer the rest of my life. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. So this was my day. You saw enough of my secrets. And I would say bye-bye, auf Wiedersehen, and auf nimmer Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Oh! <laughs>